I'm ready to do this, but we are at spring break. Um, I want to give a shout out to Amber and Andrew, also to the Howard Joe Vega Gallery, Jan Jane, Ted, um, uh, Ori, School of the Forge. It's been a very nice experience. We're here at opening night. Um, what can I say? I come here to get inspired. You're looking at a lot of beautiful artists ranging in all different mediums, layers, ages, time, energy, and uh, you can't not miss like a, a fair like spring break. It's like cutting edge. It's awesome. It's dope. I come here and I be charged up. Thank you. I mean, thank you. Uh, we're at Spring Break Art Show in New York City. Uh, Madison Avenue. Uh, 625 Madison Avenue. That's right. To be exact, actually in the former offices of fashion magnate Raphael. Fashion magnate Raphael. So far, the show has been amazing as always. Smith and you're listening to Semina Gregorio on Tronic Radio. makes it generic so therefore it becomes everything and nothing all at the same time 
when you project it onto, project. I project it. I do like two or three projections, right. and then I tape the entire thing off and I cut individual shapes out and then paint them individually. Are you using one of those skinny exacto knives or what's going exacto on there? Knife, yes. yes, because that's some sharp stuff going there on. There is very sharp stuff, and I've only went through a canvas once. Wow. So we have to, uh, that is good. I'm gonna look at me with your work and people that are not. The first time I noticed, I wanted to just know a little bit about these characters that make up the entire image. How does that come about? Um, so I created a girl in 3D and then I photoshopped her in thousands and thousands and thousands of different positions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I bring it, I bring it into Photoshop and it's sort of made collage style mm -hmm. and everything else is hand drawn but like even the trees in the background mm -hmm. are all crazy mm -hmm. mm -hmm. millions of millions well, what's your full name for people who don't know like your, your full name Jessica Lichtenstein
Yeah. Can I do my Of course you can. This is your installation. You can do whatever you want. Tell me about it. Do I tell you about it? If you want to. Walk this way? You can walk however you like. It's nice to get. It's nice to get the face of the audience. Yes. This is my great grandmother's home. I see. In Germany. In Germany. Okay. 1938. 1938. Okay. That's it. Wow. Oh, look how beautiful. Was did she like music? She has like. She's a chemist. She's a chemist. Okay. She's a chemist. So cool. Is that grand? Is it your grandfather? Great grandfather. Great grandfather. I was just wondering. So a lot of it is research through our time. Yes.
juxtaposed two kind of different states of being. One isolation, the other one kind of the ultimate in kind of inclusion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and then just kind of like create something that, that, that registered emotionally, those two mixed together. Mm -hmm. Is know? this the contrast of them all? Like the, this this character with the two? Yeah, I mean she's like an art viewer. She's an art viewer, okay. Oh, I see, okay. She's an art lover. Oh, no, she's an art lover? Okay, that's very cool. Thank you for pointing that out, right? Just, you know. But it's like, it's like, um, you know, it's just, it's just, I think, I mean, very simply, I mean, it's a lot about the juxtaposition between Loneliness and being included. Mm. Yeah. Mademoiselle, what's your name? Are you Burman? -E I see. And um, how has the fair treated you today, opening night, spring break? It's been excessive. Uh, excessive. <laughs> and these are your videos? Yeah. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Here, the seated auctioneer. Oh, the seated auctioneer. Seated auctioneer. Seated auctioneer. Seated auctioneer. Seated auctioneer. Very lucky guy, right? Wow, very, very lucky guy. Very, very yeah. lucky guy. I, I love 
Yeah. Like a sun. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, 